step 3 logical reasoning 3.1 statements so in the lesson today you are going to learn how to negate the truth of a statement okay so you can negate the truth by giving a counter example okay so for example this is statement p okay so the sum of interior angles of all polygons is 100, 180 degree okay so the polygons uh, example uh, this the regular triangle and the square and the pentagons and so on so and the interior angles mean this angle okay this plus this plus this is 180 and then this plus this plus this and then plus this is the sum of interior angles and also this one sum of all interior angles so um, determine the truth value of p this is the question so statement p is false okay this statement is false but how you negate it how you make it false okay you need to give an counter example you just need one example to make it false okay this is the counter example the sum of interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degree so this one plus this plus this plus this plus this is 540 okay this is called a counter example you can give another counter example if there's more cases for example the sum of interior angles of a square is uh, 360 which is not 180 okay so you want to make a statement you want to negate a statement you want to make it false uh, you want to prove that this is false you need to give a counter example okay this is another example if x greater than 6 then x greater than 4 okay so write a converse statement and determine its truth value so first we, you need to write a converse statement first okay remember that uh, converse statement you need to reverse the position okay p q become q b so if x greater than 6 then x greater than 4 it will become if x greater than 4 then x greater than 6 this is your converse statement okay and then you need to determine its truth value is this thing truth okay this thing is false okay if x greater than 4 then x will be greater than 6 this false so you need to prove that it is false you need to negate this thing okay you need to uh, give an counter example okay your counter example will be x equal to 5 because x equal to 5 is greater than 4 right but it doesn't mean that 5 greater than 6 right okay if 5 greater than although 5 is greater than 4 but 5 is less than 6 so this thing is false okay so that's the lesson for today uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and you may also go check out the facebook page and blog for more learning materials and thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson